Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. So, what grand and glorious adventures can we have today? Yes, I'm asking that question again because we have blueberries today. Here in New Zealand, it is summer. Blueberries abound. It's yummy times. And those of you that have been following me know that I love using the holes in these containers to pour paint through to create amazing, interesting, intricate, fun, funky, bizarre results that, you know, sometimes we can get them from a strainer, um, but not everyone has a strainer that has um, holes that would be fun. And why not try different holes? Like these ones, you've got three on each side. Um, this one, you've only got three, three, two, and two. So you could try different options. Now, I'm going to go with this one, and there's a good reason for it. It's a paint-saving reason. If I hold these on a side like that, maybe, yes, you can see that this, the holes are in a hollow on this one, so the paint will run down into them. Whereas this one, the holes are slightly up on the side, and then there's a hollow down here that the paint could pull into. So I don't want to waste paint. I like using every scrap of paint. So we're going to go with this one and uh, see what magic we can create with that. The other thing that I would like to do is just lift it up off the ground a little bit. Um, just so that it doesn't... Um, Affect the uh, the way it sits, if that makes sense. Um, so, to that end, I have got one of my trusty paint pots, <laughs> um, and I'm just going to sit that on there. It's going to give it a little bit of elevation to create interesting designs it's gonna create a circle in the middle that can when i lift that up the puddle can flow into it hopefully <laughs> um and let's have a go um now some people there's different ways of doing this guys and, and you can play in whatever way you like you could layer a cup up as if you're going to do a ring pour and just pour that uh, i'm personally going to um, do it so that I just am pouring each individual color round and round and round. So what colors are we using? I have got my favorite crimson red which is from Reno Art. I have violet purple. I don't know if you can capture that color. Um, we have ultramarine blue. We have turquoise blue. And I had a small amount of silver and a small amount of iridescent medium left. So I've mixed those two together to create a different silver, really, is what it is. <laughs> um, I'm not going to put any white in. I'm just going to put... Um, I'm going to use this as my white. So... What's going to get created, who knows, but that's the fun of it. Um, so I'm just going to start with some purple and just pouring around all the holes. And uh, let's see if I can, it just creates little drops. So as you can imagine, it's going to create little... pretty puddles that then will join together and create something greater. That's the plan anyway. Let's see if it works. Now I do recommend when you do this that you start at different points on the hole maker. 
when you come back round, like that first blob that comes out can be bigger than the rest. And then when you come back round, you can get double fits through the same hole. So if you start doing it with, um, you know, starting at different points as you go, it can create a totally different look and hopefully even it out a little bit with your paint quality quantities. Try not to move it. Oh, I can see a lump. Let's fish that out. If you see lumps, it is a good idea to get rid of them as soon as you see them. Um, because you may not see them in the end painting. They may be thinner than the thickness of your paint and in doing so you end up with um, once it dries the lump stays and so you end up with a bump in your painting and if hey if that's something you're after don't you know who am I to say it's wrong? It's not wrong. Nothing is wrong in art. Anybody that tells you that you're not doing art, that you're wrong, that any anything like that, just it's an interesting point of view. You have that point of view in your head. Not necessarily out loud. It can create arguments and negativity in your world, but interesting point of view they have that point of view what magic can I create today how much fun can I have today what else is possible that I haven't imagined I'm enjoying the interesting designs that we're getting coming through I'm not sure if you guys can see them very well. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit for you. And I haven't put any silicon in any of this, by the way. These are all just the paint mixed with Floetrol and water. Let me zoom in a little bit. Could be a bit more. The one thing about not putting white in this is that it is going to end up rather dark. I'm just looking at the amount of paint we have there. I'm wondering, I have a feeling we've probably got enough paint. Gosh, it's warm today. So, just, can I just put the last bit of this? And then do a little bit of scraping into the holes. Just to, again, as I said at the beginning, avoid paint wastage. And speed this process up a little bit. You don't want to mix too much. Just move the paint towards each of the holes.
Mm. That silver has disappeared. <laughs> Let me take this away. The silver seems to have shrunk just down inside. And let's just pull this up and allow it to flow in. Create something different in the middle there. So I really like it. Um, I'm just wondering whether I have any leftover white mixed up. I do. I'm just going to put a little bit of white around the outside just for it to flow over especially in these corners to help drag it out because where there is um paint for it to flow over it will run with more smoothly but I don't want there to be big blobs of white so that when I tilt that way the white runs through it so that's why I'm just spreading it out making sure we don't have big piles of white anywhere to cause damage to our beautiful creation that we've been so delicate creating <laughs> oh look at the way that's seeping into the white there ready to tilt let's see okay I'd quite like to keep it relatively looking like shellfish shells <laughs> but I don't think we're going to succeed too much if we end up having it going off right on the corners Bring it back to the center each time you tilt. It's very important to try and realign it back up again. But as I'm stretching it, we're starting to see a little bit more of that silver coming through which is exciting just help it come over the edges so we're starting to get that wobbly look You know what I'm going to 
do I'm not actually going to pull it back I'm going to leave it uncentered corners making sure it all flows off I like that uncentered so there's a couple of things I really like this this looks like um a love heart like a um, piece of vine or something let me see it's got a little it's made itself a little love heart in the middle there and then it's got this little vine coming out of it that's really cool um i've just noticed that in here we have a a lump and we don't want to lump love can't have lumps you know so I'm just going to use two little push pins and try and pick it out. There it is. Look at that. That would have dried a real mess. Or a big lump at least. Zoomed in like that. It looks quite bright and vibrant. It doesn't look... <laughs> it's not quite that bright and vibrant in real life. But I'm hoping it will keep some of its vibrancy in the um, dry. We've got some of the silver showing through and giving a bit of brightness as well, which is awesome. Um, I like it. I do. I do, I do, I do. So that makes me happy. I like it when I'm happy. That doesn't make me happy. It unlocks my willingness to see how happy I am normally, if I let myself be. <laughs> uh, funny. Anyway, I'm going to put this aside. There is quite a bit of paint on the ground, so I'm going to see if I can create something magical with that. So give me two secs while I tidy up a, a little bit, and I'll be right back. And we can play with that stuff under there. And um, then we'll leave it to dry. And I'll be back at the end of the video to show you the dry result. So coming back in a moment. Okay. So we're back. And for this next bit, we're going to require some cardboard. And we're going to require a spatula -y, scrapey, flat, bladey type thing. Um, and I've got plastic down on top of my paper for this. So um, it's making it very easy just to scrape that onto there. Look how runny this paint is. Who, who poured this paint? Who mixed this paint? This paint, guys, has been mixed up in my little containers for several months. And it is totally fine to use. So if you're planning on doing a bit of painting and you want to save yourself time in the long term, you can just do what I do and mix up a whole tube of paint at it at a time and what that does well what I found that that does is um, means that you've got paint ready to go whenever you want to paint and all of a sudden it's like I'm gonna paint and you pull them out unscrew the lid you're good to go so this is a bit boring it's a bit dark and it needs a little something so, I'm going to just 
pop a tiny touch of white and this is my house white this is not the um, tube paint white and I'm just gonna do a bit of a smear there pick some of that up and go through there and through there and even just a little bit of a play just have a play 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 like the dog and under the edge over the hedge whatever it's called it's still not great okay this is a play in progress <laughs> so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some silicon and just put a little bit of silicon on my finger and start flicking it's only tiny 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 little microns of silicon that are actually being flicked off my finger because I didn't even put a whole drip of silicon on my hand on my finger like literally it's it's shiny but when you flick those tiny microns come off and can give you some cells check that out it's added a bit of interest isn't it so what do I do with these bits of cardboard there'll be a link in the description below to a video about how I turn these bits of cardboard into greeting cards and um, it's fun it gives me something to give people people feel special because they know that I've painted it um, and hey you know I even sell some of them at the markets and stuff so if that would be fun for you perhaps you want to give that a go now I only used half the paint look I've got a whole heap more paint over there what else could we choose what else could we create? How much more fun can we have with this pile of paint? Alright, so let's move that out of the way. Get another piece of cardboard. Ooh. We're going to have to start eating cereal again. That's funny, I've run out of cardboard. Pre-poured. Prepared cardboard. Anyway, that's okay. Because what I have available is jigsaw puzzles. Now, don't ever do these thinking that you're going to be able to play the jigsaw because they don't work. I've got a video on that too. Um, <laughs> but what I am going to do is find a piece of something nice and sturdy and solid like this bit of glass turntable oh no there it is I found my other tray here we go And we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before and scrape this paint onto but I'm going to need to push it off a little bit so that it's available to be pushed onto just making sure that the paint reaches all the bits of the jigsaw because 
you know, we're not going to cut this one up necessarily. Although what you could do is cut them out. Here you go, here's an idea. You won't be able to use them as a as a painting as such, like as an individual a whole jigsaw, but you could cut them up and um, cut them out and put magnets on the back and use them as fridge magnets. Funky shaped, cool, painted. Just picking a bit more paint up off the... Just so that it doesn't stretch it just too much. As you can see, I have like got very little leftover paint. And the cool thing about that is that you know that you are not wasting anything. Not quite as attractive as I would have liked it, but then I didn't have quite enough paint on there, but that's okay. It's interesting. Look at that. So we'll leave that to dry and uh, we will see what we can make of it in three, two, one. All right, we are forward, forward in time. We have leapt through the seconds, minutes, hours, days of time to discover what this looks like dry. So. It's a little bit more turquoise than what I'm seeing on my camera, but that may change depending on what screen you are looking at it on. Um, we've definitely got some shimmeries from that silvery iridescence. Uh... What else is going on in here guys it's 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 busy and yet it's tranquil it's intense yet it's space i'm just really liking it not sure oh my goodness me wow who else sees that crooky uh what did i just see well wow, that little heart-shaped vine leaf that I pointed out is in the cleavage of the lady who's got a shawly type thing around her shoulders and she's got this really long neck and I'm um, you guys let me know do you think her head is this piece here tilted over or this piece here or does she not have a neck at all but she's got such a vibrancy about her the the red um it's oh definitely hang it this way <laughs> i would anyway um let me know do you see what i see do you see what i see or do you see something else? Do you see something completely different? I'm liking it. I'm not excited about these little dots over here. And I probably will consider painting them out. But consider is the, is the operative word. I'm not sure if I will. But I do love the lady. I do. And it just... 
Yummy! Do you see her? Huh, huh, huh? Do you, do you, do you? Just like the shadow on her neck and I like it. I like it. What do you see? Oh, that actually could be oh, when I put my finger in there it changes the up in here there's kind of like a chin and a nose and eye indentation and then a forehead but it doesn't really fit on the body oh there's so many stories you could tell with this piece oh you know i always used to hate abstract art because they would have in all the galleries i went to that have abstract art and then they would have this description next to it and i could never ever 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 see what on earth they were talking about and so if you can't see this i get it and i'm actually really quite inspired about all the different stories that you could write about this particular piece and what it signifies and it would all be totally made up it would totally not be anything that I created the piece to create to to say it would just be a story made up that was inspired by looking at it and I it makes me wonder how many of those descriptions that you see on gallery walls um, you know if, if you're taking that as a woman this could be all the the fetuses it could be um, all the entities that contribute to her while she is alive. It could be, oh, so many things. Like, I find it funny. Oh, so funny. And yet, is it those stories that people tell that sell their art? People buy it because they want to stare at it longer just to be able to try and see what the artist was seeing. Who knows? It's not the way I do things. There's a great manipulation if that is what they're doing. <laughs> anyway, we did two other paintings. Let's have a look at those. Ding, ding, ding. Change of topic. Ba -dum. So... This is our bit of cardboard. Now, because it was the front, oh, let's see, yep, the front and the ingredients panel on the side, there is a there is a line through here that from where the cardboard bent, but it's alright. There's some lovely pieces in here that will make great um greeting cards which is what I do with these cards check the link in the description below to see how I do that um, so yep there's definitely pieces I can use out of there that's awesome and then there is a jigsaw puzzle which it's not my most favorite painting but once again it depends on which angle you put it if I can get it to focus um, you know, here's the rocks and the angry sea beating against the rocks and the swirl of the ocean in the background. Or oh, what else can we see? Um, or it could be a nice calm sea coming up against the shore at night. Uh, oh, look, there's a head in a swimming costume as someone swims through the sea. I'm very fo focused on this being a C, obviously. What else do you guys see? Do you see what I see? <laughs> um, and as I said before, these are not easy to cut apart to use as an actual jigsaw. I have tried it before. It's not easy. But if you wanted to, that's always an option. Um and it's very bended bent 
bended. What a word. Um, it is not flat. But that's okay too. There's nothing wrong with that. So my friends, there we are for another video. We are one, two, and three. I had fun. And that for me is the target of this channel. Um, I will be going live this coming week. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the notification bell is on all notifications. Um, maybe even sign up to my email list if you want to. Um, and this is the last month of my Patreon account. Um, I have enjoyed and been extremely grateful for my patrons, but I will be closing it off at the end of this month. It will not be repeating next month. Uh, so if you want to send me money because you love me, then you can. You're more than welcome to. There is a coffee account and a Patreon account in the description below. Um... Or you can contact me about purchasing any of the things that you've seen on my channel. Um, there are a lot of them still available. Give me a call. Come visit me. Whatever works for you. Uh, and if nothing else, just keep watching my videos. Let the ads run for 30 seconds. And that contributes financially to me being able to buy paints and canvases and stuff like that. So I adore you all. I'm so grateful to you watching all the way to the end of this. And uh, let me know in the comments, what do you see in this painting? Do you see my lady? How would you, what, what essay would you write <laughs> if that's fun for you? <laughs> um, let me know what you see guys. Let me know what you, would like to see in future videos. I adore you and I will see you again super soon. Bye bye.